everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. Today we're gonna be trying out the Tom Ford Bella Depeche in the Bitter Peach packaging. If you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everyone, today's gonna be a relatively short video. I'm trying to intersperse like some short videos and longer videos. Um, I, <laughs> I know that in this day of like one minute or less videos, uh, everybody's looking for you know shorter forms of, uh, of videos. I don't know if I've gotten quite to the TikTok thing yet, but we'll be starting to put more things up on TikTok as I get more comfortable with understanding the platform. But for now, what I'm going to do is on on this platform on YouTube have some you know long long videos, 20 30 minutes usual, and then some short ones that are like 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes and we're all just focused on one product, like the Belle de Peche. This is a new formula from Tom Ford and comes in the Bitter Peach packaging. There are lips that go with this. I believe both of them are matte. There's Sherry and I've just forgotten the name of the other shade. I'll put it down below. I just mentioned it like just a little short while ago to someone else. Anyway, um, so we're gonna go ahead and try it, see what we think. I don't know, you know, too many details. I also have the Rose Topaz and the Smoky Quartz, and um, those will be coming out in February, February 1st, I think. Um, but I will probably have them over on Patreon very soon, because it's almost February anyway. Uh, um, and then I'll have them up on this, uh, on, on YouTube, on my channel, as soon as they are available. All right, so let's swatch this. Let's see what we think. Oh, the formula is interesting. It's like dry. Okay, interesting. Let's see if I can get it to swatch. I can, I can get it to swatch. It feels, it feels dry. Um, like it's harder to get the pigment. It does swatch okay, but I have to try a little harder. It's interesting, it almost feels a little rubbery. It feels a little rubbery. It's watching okay though, but it feels a little rubbery. Where's the shades? Definitely warm leaning. Let's start with this shade, use it as like a transition. We'll do this on the eye. We'll see how we can build this up yeah, this is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a um, 201 BK Beauty brush to start. Let's see how much pigment we can get. Um, okay, it's a very. I mean, I'm like kind of digging. These are synthetic brushes. They're soft synthetic brushes, but still, okay. I mean, it's very light. It's not bad, but. My favorite formula from Tom Ford is his wet dry formula. And my favorite quads tend to be his older quads. Uh, you know, things from nine, 10 years ago. I still have some. They haven't gone bad. Um, and that's the thing about powder. You can keep it longer. Don't get me wrong though. You should check your products Make sure they, you know, don't go bad, don't have mold, don't have any, you know, all that good stuff. And I, you know, my collection is just for me. I don't let other people, I don't use it on other people. Um, when I was doing makeup a long, long time ago, when I did it, you know, for weddings and stuff, I had a, you know, a set of makeup that I used and brushes, etc that I used for other people so that I didn't use those on me as well. Nowadays, I don't do that anymore. So, you know, makeup's just for me and I can keep it pretty pristine. That's a pretty shade. It's just so light. I mean, so light. All right, let's take the BK Beauty. This is the 503 Angie Hot and Flashy. I'm gonna use the same shade. I'm just trying a different brush. You know, sometimes a brush makes a difference um, in how something applies. Uh, yeah, it does apply a little better with this brush, but um, it's still, you know, very light and not pigmented. And it feels, like I said, like a little rubbery. I'm not exactly sure what that is. 
It's interesting. All right. Um, let's take a Angie Hot and Flashy. This is a 502 brush. Let's go into this shade that's a little bit more what I would say peach, where the other one's a little bit more brown. Yeah, I don't, this formula is really interesting. All right, let's try to enhance this a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely peachier than the first shade, but you can see it's still not very pigmented. Interesting. First of all, I'd say you definitely wanna like a warm, you know, color story because this is definitely warm. All right, let's take the lightest shade. Use that on the eye. Let's see what we get there. Yeah, this is a very hard to use palette. Like it just, and maybe it's just my palette, but it just feels like rubber. And it's really hard to get product on the brush. Um, I'm gonna try the Chantecai Shade and Sweep Brush. Uh, that's a really great brush for like the um, luminescent shades. It picks up product really well. Yeah, that seems to work a little better. I'll bring you in close to see this, but I mean, there's not much going on my eye, to be honest with you. This is another one of those no makeup makeups, like the Naked Pink that Tom Ford came out with. I don't know what Tom Ford's doing lately. This is why I said I might not, you know, I might stop picking up Tom Ford. The, the Rose Topaz and the Smoky Quartz don't look like, feel like this or look like this, by the way, but this one definitely does. Okay, let's take the deepest shade. Okay, at least that one has some pigment. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of like draw a line almost with this more narrow brush and then we'll blend it out. Yeah, if somebody out there likes this formula and likes this palette, I want them to tell me why. And did I just get a palette that doesn't work? Or am I doing something wrong? I mean, I have been doing makeup for quite some time, but I, I gotta tell you, either it's user error and I'm doing something wrong, or this, this is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take the, the, the peachier shade again. I'm gonna try to put that on the eye because at least that seemed to have some color. I'll put it over the pale shade. Yeah, I would just say this is bad. <laughs> like I can't get a lot of color out of it. And this is very much reminiscent of the Rose Prisme thing, which is was basically you know, there was, not Rose Prisme, I'm sorry, um, Naked Pink. Rose Prisme had some color. I'm going back into the deepest shade again because that shade was the only one that really seems to have any pigment. So what I would say is this is the warm version of Naked Pink. That's what this is. So if you use the deepest shade, you can at least get you know, pigment, but that's like the only one <laughs> that really has a shade. All right, guys, I had to work for this. I mean, I had to work hard <laughs> to get this much pigment. Um, yeah, I would not recommend this palette unless somebody tells me that there's something wrong with my palette and like all the other palettes, the formula works. I'm gonna take that light shade. I'm trying to use my finger now. Now, I mean, it's just not, there's, there's very little pigment there and what, it, and what pigment it is, is not particularly attractive. Like there should be a, a shimmer shade or if, if it's supposed to be all matte, then it should be, you know, a richer matte. This is just not, it's not attractive in my opinion. And that's a lot of work to get, you know, you could basically do this with one eyeshadow and it would be better because this formula is bad. All right, let me, um, <laughs> let me put on some mascara. Let's see how it looks with some mascara. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back with some mascara on and although I actually think my face looks nice <laughs> because the foundation I have on, I think is a really good foundation. 
Um, I'll put that down below what that is. And the lipstick is the Burberry Kisses Pearl Lipstick. This is in Delicate Rose. On me, it actually ends up looking a little bit warmer, so I thought it would go actually with this. The thing is, though, this palette, in again, my opinion, is terrible. Um, I had to work really hard just to get what seems to be one color. It's peach. It's, you know, pesh. Got it. But I could do this with one shade, and frankly, I could make it look better with um, many other many other products. Um, if you like a warm toned uh, eyeshadow look, then the Trio by Dior is lovely. Um, they have like a peach toned one, which is beautiful. And uh, Dior has their Mediterranean, which is also warm toned, which is stunning. This is not worth $88 or $89 or whatever it is. I will say the packaging is cool because it's got the, you know, bitter peach packaging, but paying $88 for packaging is, uh, you know, harsh. Um, <laughs> if I returned things, I would return this. Like it's, it's bad. I, um, yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say. I don't think it's good. The formula is like rubber. It reminds me of the rubber brown that was in the trios from Dior last year. That's what it feels like. It's really hard to get pigment from them. The pigment that you get, yeah, I mean, it, it's a pretty peach, but it's it all blends into one shade because the cool shade doesn't even, like the cool shade, the light shade doesn't even show up. Um, this shade is the only one I could get, you know, these two shades are the only ones I could get color from. Um... Like I said, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe mine is bad, but if not, <laughs> stay away from stay away from this quad. That's my take on it. It's a it's a huge disappointment. I, like I said, I don't know what's going on with Tom Ford. He comes out with some things that are good that I like, and then this. Uh, so I felt the same way about the Naked Pink. Actually, I like the Naked Pink more than this because at least the Naked Pink wasn't like a struggle to get the shade out of the pan. This is like rubber. Can you tell I don't like it? I don't like it. So anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, putting together my fail list for 2022. So that's about it for today, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've had really good luck lately, so, you know, you knew that was going to run out eventually. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.